And this is the sort of throttle action you want to achieve when you're building the units like this. So hello and welcome to FM Mixologist, uh, the place on the internet thingy where we eventually obtain the parts that we require for the projects that we need to do. So case in point, this um, uh, Euro-American uh, Holly Weber uh, 3236 um, carb that I've, I've dealt with, uh, I've done a, a little short introductory video. And what we're going to do in this in this episode is we're going to do some quite detailed modifications um, on this unit uh, that I think are going to increase the performance quite a lot. So let me let me explain what I'm going to do. First of all, let me show you my, my brand new piece. This I've, I've been waiting for weeks for this to come uh from from the good old kind of prc uh chintzy uh, but i think it'll, it'll do a job but first of all let me let me explain the theory of what i'm what i'm trying to achieve here and i'm going to show you um exactly what, what what i'm going to do with this unit to obtain even more performance okay so here i think i think we are yeah you you can see um you you can you can see what, what what I'm trying to achieve here. So, in this very very bad uh, very bad drawing uh, that I've made, basically what well, what I'm what I'm trying to represent here is the original condition of the secondaries, which is this. And as you can see uh, in there, this has got a shape like this and down, which is this this is the venturi. And the fuel comes through here in the auxiliary venturi, which is this hole here. I mean, I haven't got the auxiliary venturi here, but it, it, it doesn't really matter. And then you've got a shaft and a throttle blade here. Yeah. Represented like so. So what, what I am going to do in this particular unit is I'm going to go to this illustration here. How am I going to do that? Well, very simple. So the first thing that, I, that I'm going to do in the secondary is use this uh, <laughs> rather large size drill because I'm going to drill a larger hole in here. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a larger venturi so that more air, air flow can get through. Not only that, but the other thing that, that I'm also going to do is I'm going to make the throttle plate thinner and therefore that means that more, even more airflow at maximum capacity is going to be able to flow through this unit. Now obviously I'm concentrating on the secondaries as uh, all of my modifications are going to be in the secondary. However, the same principle applies to the primaries as well. If you, if you want to, if you wanted to do it, so let's um, so let's start with um, first of all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, the cut um, here. Uh, one of one of the things that I want to just um, just state that I'm not doing or at least not for now. Initially, I thought, I toyed with the idea of actually drilling this out to 38. So this is kind of 36 mil in diameter. And initially I thought maybe I could drill it out to 38. But the, the problem with that is that I don't know if you can see, um, if you can see those things that I'm pointing out there, those progression holes. I don't think that I'll be able to drill it to 38 and and those progression holes are going to be lost. Again, it's not the end of the world uh, doing that. It's just that it, this project becomes so much more complex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit myself to the modifications on the shaft and on the choke. So without further ado, I'm going to show you um, this unit on the drill and I'm, we're going to start kind of drilling it out so so you can see the process and I'm also going to start also working on the secondary shaft uh, so you can see that process as well. Okay so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to start the process of modification of the secondary shaft first. 
<coughs> and then I'm going to do the uh, um, um, the shaft and then I'm going to do the screws. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now is, if you can see a shaft there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this top part and I'm going to leave just the screw threads on this side to create a situation where I'm eliminating part of the shaft and eliminating part of the restriction caused by the shaft. Okay, so now what I need to show you here is I'm having a bit of a kind of situation, a bit of a problem in the sense that uh, this is kind of my equipment here. You've got, I've got my, you know, my pillar drill, my cross light vise, but what's the problem? I, I just can't find a way to clamp this down effectively due to the fact that this, if you look at here, this has got uh, this hasn't got a straight surface here um, if you look here this hasn't got a straight surface so it's very difficult to mount and last but not least if you look on the other side that hasn't got a straight surface as well so this is creating problems for me to try and really clamp this unit down so that I can hold it so I can make the cut however I do have a solution of sorts to it so I'll show you now uh, what that solution is the strategy here is quite simple I got I got myself a, a little bit of uh, of flat bar here uh, this is aluminium uh, I always love a bit of flat bar don't you think it's just brilliant um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna like mount the carb like so I'm gonna kind of take some measurements uh, some mountings and I'm going to basically drill the holes yeah for for the carbs uh, for, for, for the, the, the the mounting holes um, and then I've got this um, M8 um, bolts and I've got the M8 tap so basically what I'm going to create is I'm going to create a screw uh, within this piece so that I can then really bolt this down to the flat bar and then I can just squeeze the flat bar on the vise and that should hopefully give me the um, the clamping power that I require to then drill this out. So now we're finished with this unit. Uh, as you can see, I put, I put three bolts on because this is this is enough. Uh, to be honest, the clamping force is quite big. So now we just have to utter the classic phrase: uh, "This isn't going anywhere." So let's just put it in the um, install it on the pillar drill and let's try to make this cut now. Half the battle here is ensuring that that we got this stuff level and really parallel uh, to the drill. So obviously my clamp here, as you can see, has helped quite a lot in terms of achieving this. Um, and obviously you need, you need your spirit levels um, to check that this is correct. So I think now that we've done that, uh, we're ready to, to just, you know, do the cut.
So now what you can see here is really the first, um, the, the, the rough cut. And as you can see, this hole is much smaller than this one. So now we, we're getting a secondary that's quite a bit, that has a bit more capacity for airflow than the primary. And that combined with the work on the throttle, that would give us, you know, quite a bit more. So now, as you can see, the, 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 the cut is a bit rough. And what I need to do really is do a bit of, um, a bit of smoothing out, a bit of the airflow can go through um, better. Um, kind of imitating this sort of shape um, in here kind of thing. I can I can feel a lot of um, <clears throat> like sharp edges and bits here with my finger and that needs to be uh, eliminated uh, if we want this unit to work properly. Okay, so I think I've got this unit dialed in to what I think it should be. Obviously, this is, a, this is just a mock-up of, of what it would be because I need to obviously clean all the stuff and I need to do still a lot of rebuilding. But in terms of the <clears throat> the performance improvements, I think we, we, we've got them here. So as you can see here, what I've done in the primary, not a lot, but still I've managed to shave off the back of the bolts here. And I used a, I'm, a, I'm using a much lower profile bolts than the original one. So these are kind of receded into the shaft, and this is quite important. And therefore, it will present uh, much less of a restriction uh, when you well, certainly when you give it the full beans. Um, this is really going to help the car. Let's say maximize as much flow. Uh, as possible from the primary but 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 most of it this would be something that would have basically the same behavior as a normal primary but with a bit of little bit of extra kick at full throttle however in the secondaries is a different story because obviously as you can see here i've i've eliminated uh, the whole portion of the kind of back of the shaft and therefore as soon as you get as soon as you give it full throttle look at this I've, I've also kind of eliminated as well kind of the back the, the back of this just need to do a little bit more filing but it's, it's nearly there and crucially let's uh, look if we can see there um, all of the um, th this has been smoothed out so all of the I did obviously the the 28 mil cut but then all of the surface was smoothed out so that I could so I could run a finger across here and don't feel any sort of ridge or any sort of um, you know so it's something that, 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 that would catch your finger any sharp bits at all so, so actually, this took this took quite quite a while, um, and hopefully you can see you can, you can see there there in the camera. But essentially, this is uh, the basics of your kind of stage two modification. Because if you look at if you look at here, if you look at at the throat from the throat of the carb, you can see there and there. You can see that this is a much larger throat uh, than, than than it was originally, uh, and with thanks to that modification in the shaft, I'm sure it's going to flow considerably more uh, than than your standard car. So what we need to do here now is to, I need to obviously clean all the bits and start doing and start with the kind of reassembly process. Um, <clears throat> for this stuff okay so now we're coming to the end of this um, of of this episode not of the build of the, of this car because we still got um, quite a lot to do in order to you know get it up and running uh, but at the moment uh, I'm just gonna stop here because I have another other you know priority projects in the shop so therefore they need to yeah, let's say come first rather than this one but 
I want to show you a couple of things before I kind of round this off. First of all, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got my computer here. And this is very important because this is a picture that I took of the carb when I, when I first got it. And this has proven invaluable to be able to kind of do the throttle assembly again. Yeah, so I used that picture over there so that one in order to recreate this throttle assembly here look look at this this is absolutely lovely this is the sort of throttle action you're looking for and obviously as you can see the 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 shafts have been chemically blackened so actually this looks pretty down factory um on all sides yep and this is the right sort of throttle action you want a nice snappy little return so anyway so that is and, and there you can see from the from the top oh, that carb is going to flow a lot anyway so I just wanted to show you this guys so <coughs> so I think we, 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 we need to shut it down now because this episode is getting a bit on the longish side but I wanted to say thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, put down in comments. And I'll see you on the next episode.